Hey Townie, thank you so much for sending me your dream. I'm excited to be able to get to it for you. First of all, I really hope that I'm saying your name right. I actually looked it up on like three different websites just to try and make sure I said it right. So Townie is what the internet told me. Uh, so I hope that's correct. <laughs> if not, my sincerest apologies. Uh, but in case you're new, what we typically do here with these dreams is I'm gonna read what you sent me, tell you what the symbols mean, and then tell you how they apply to your life. So hit subscribe, stick around. You can check out some of the other ones that people want me to post publicly, uh, and you have the option to do that with yours too, or we keep it totally private. But let's, uh, let's dive into what your dreams are telling you and figure out what your mind has to say. All right, you said backstory. Uh, you used to be a cop. Awesome, nice. You said you no longer are, though, due to personal issues with the police department. I do miss it and want to go back into it, however. Oh, into it. However, I have unresolved issues with the police department. I hear you. You know, and I, I work with a lot of first responders, particularly police, uh, and they tell me there's a lot, a lot of just the most outrageous politics that go on. So uh, your story sounds very familiar to me and makes a lot of sense. Okay, but to your dream. You said I had a dream. I was making an arrest on my brother. I haven't spoken to him in maybe 10 years in real life. I put on my old uniform and went to arrest him. I didn't make the arrest right away. Uh, I laid down to take a nap. So pause. Your brother, right? One of the very practical rules of dream interpretation is that all the symbols, even if they're other people, are actually representations for parts of yourself. So I don't know what your brother symbolizes for you. Um, you know, I uh, don't know your brother, but what I would suggest you to do, maybe even pause here before we continue on. Pause for a second and write down the first three to five things that come to your mind right away when you think about your brother. Go ahead. Now that you're back, one of the things uh, that will most likely happen is a combination, one or a combination of those things that you wrote down is what your brother symbolizes for you. So let's say I've got a relative who's very, like arrogant and prideful. It stands for, if I dream about them, it stands for my arrogance and pride. Let's say that I dream about someone who's very kind and giving and generous. It stands for my kind and generous and giving nature. So <clears throat> why would you arrest your brother? Well, you are confronting a part of yourself that you haven't confronted in a very, very long time. Uh, and you're trying to, um, well, confront it, you're trying to make sense of it, you're trying to contain it and to figure out what to do with it. There's a part of yourself that you're trying to work through here. <clears throat> Dream continues. When you woke up from the nap, you realized that you had been asleep and quickly took your brother down to the police department. After my arrest, they were so impressed, they wanted to hire me. I told them of the unresolved issues with my old chief and how he's made it difficult to get a job. They said they don't care, they wanted to hire you anyway. So this is a symbol for when you confront this, you'll feel confidence, you'll feel pride, you'll feel accepted again, right? There's issues inside of you, uh, probably particularly authority issues inside of you, either from a long time ago, maybe all the way back to childhood, I don't know, but authority issues that cause you to not feel accepted that need to be confronted. That's being symbolized here. Uh, the dream goes on to say, your phone starts ringing and I look down and see it's an old detective one that you used to work with, and you ignore it and go with the guys. We're all in individual glass rooms and I'm in the center. So these glass rooms, to me, as the dream continues, they seem to symbolize fragile boundaries, right? This is the separation between you and the connections with both parts of yourself and other people. The detective ringing on your phone is a connection with deeper sort of insight. Now, I don't know the detective. It might have uh, because you did work with a detective, it might have some specific symbolism for you, just like your brother. But to me, the detective is uh, sort of self-insight. It's self-exploration, right? And so this self-exploration is calling you on your phone. It's trying to connect with you. Phones being a symbol of connection, communication. Um, almost like your mind is doing the detective work to try and give you insight and information. That's what that symbolizes in order to help you connect with other people and with yourself. As things continue in the dream, you say, I think we're having a sleepover in these glass rooms or some type of bonding, I'm not sure. I remember thinking in the dream of how I miss being a part of the team and being with the guys. We're all laughing and playful. Someone throws an item at another guy and breaks the glass. The sergeant tells us to stop and that's the end of the scenario. Um, the sergeant plays a role in the next part here too, but it really seems to symbolize for me this idea of sort of masculine paternal oppression, right? So think about 
uh, some of the classic like fairy tales, right? You've got the knight in shining armor who faces the dragon and goes out into the wilderness to conquer and subdue. But then back at home, you've got the, the old crotchety, crusty old king. You know, he's become so out of touch with the world and he's got all these rules and he doesn't listen to anybody and he's arrogant and full of himself. He's like, this is the way that we do it. This is the way that we always done it. And there's no room for growth and development and relationship and nuance. He's just like, this is the way that we do it. Stern, cold, right? That's what the sergeant seems like to me. And remember, this is a symbol for your own rigid, controlling, paternal, insensitive, cold boundaries that you have. Sometimes you're really analytical, critical, mean to yourself and perhaps, you know, not directly to others, but because you're mean to yourself, it causes these things to get in the way of the growth in your life and the connection that you can have with others. Remember the glass walls breaking down because you guys are having a good time. Uh, the sergeant comes in and says, no, no good times, no goofing around. That's not safe. And so there's a part of you that's experiencing this, right? Dream goes on. It changes to me leaving the police department uh, my old sergeant from my prior job catches up to me and says, be careful. You just passed that detective and didn't notice he's watching you. Remember, detective is a symbol for your own personal insight. As I'm filling up my patrol car with gas, I look behind me and see him sitting in a chair. My sergeant is leaning against the gas pump and continues to tell me to be careful. Gas in your car is actually a symbol for independence and confidence. Cars are a symbol for that. Uh, we're interrupted by an elderly couple who wants to pay for my gas because I'm in uniform and then I wake up, right? So this dream, over and over and over again in this dream, there's this conflict between uh, problems inside of you, unaccepted parts of yourself, rigidity, structure, like this, I'm going to arrest it and put it in jail, right? And your desire to be cared for, accepted, and included. And those two things are well, intention within you. You want to be cared for, accepted, and included, and be yourself, but your problems with authority, right? Those struggles with authority, that overly disciplined, overly diligent, overly critical part of yourself causes you to struggle with feeling included and being uh, more authentic, right? And real and messy as a human. And so your dream's just trying to lay this out for you. And it's saying that you need to have room to be messy and to be in relationship, right? And to, and to, accept the call from the detective for self-insight to go deeper and understand where these things started for you because by de being a detective and going deeper into these things, you'll find the answers that you need to overcome these obstacles. And that's what your dream's really trying to tell you. So listen, uh, I hope that's been helpful. I hope that gives you some insight. Let me know, you know, put it in the comments below or send me an email back. Uh, let me know how else I can help or what you think of it. Um, but more than anything, thanks for following the page. Thanks for supporting me. I mean, every time someone sends me one of their dreams, it helps support the channel. So I really, really appreciate it, Tony. Uh, if I can be of any help, you know, we do the live classes every week. You can always schedule a one-on-one -on -one session with me. But more than anything, thanks for being here. And I look forward to talking to you again soon. Peace.